What's up, Perfect 100 IQ Club? It's Dakar here with another banger of a game. This time we are up against the Gnarnar. We're going to be smacking this kid. It's uh, more of a Gnarnar Elise, Spider Ganks, Spider Queen bitch. Man, I hate her. Funnily enough, we had another Nidalee on our team. For some reason, it was Nidalee uh, ally team every single game today. Ugh. Drive me insane, man. Give me some CC. So for this match, we're doing Fleet. Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Resolve Secondary with Second Wind, Revitalize, Attack Speed, AD, Armor, in the Shards. We will have Ignite, and we'll be itemizing for Lethality, Russian the Eclipse, uh, looking to get those one-shots, those juicy one-shots. For the NAR matchup, remember his burst is mainly going to be off of his third hit proc, combined with his Q. His Mega, you can four stack W to get out of the wall bang and then reposition yourself because he's going to wall bang auto W. And then uh, on top of all that, he just, he out stat balls you if he has Mega, even if you're a bit ahead. If he rushes Bramble Vest and he has Mega, he just kicks your ass. So all you have to do is wait the Narbar out. LS says this champion is uh, laughable tier. So nar is easy easy champ easy top lane easiest lane matchup because ls is never wrong just kidding ls is almost always fucking wrong ignore that guy he only duo cues just just ignore that shit so uh against the nar play around his mini avoid the mega try to get full control because your wave clear pattern is much more quick than his and he has no sustain so you get to pressure him and actually do trades they actually work as for the items, the Eclipse combos super well with the Fleet Footwork and gives you a nice little shield when you go in for a little bit of poke. But when, once you have Eclipse, he won't be letting you uh, trade. So you just want to double W walk away generally up against the Gnar matchup. And if he does let you trade once you have that, that is a, a free kill. Anyway, that's it for the intro. I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm sorry I've been taking a little bit of a hiatus on the uh, intros and stuff. Just not feeling great. Got to make sure I get my streams done. And once I finish my stream, I just want to be a lazy piece of shit. So my bad for that. More of these will be coming. We'll be doing a whole lot more. But anyway, in the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, yada yada. And I hope you enjoy the show. So right here is a standard triple Q combo. Use the four stack Q before you enter the brush. Jump from brush using Q, E midair, W, auto Q, ignited him as well. I'm not sure if the ignite was necessary, but it just guaranteed the kill. So right here, we're setting up a fat wave. And even if we didn't get the kill, we wanted to crash it and then look for the rotation. Look for either the roam mid or uh, if we didn't see the Elise here, then we would have looked towards Krugs, towards the red and see if we can catch her out. The timing's the same as a cheater recall, except I'm actually doing stuff on the map instead of just spending fucking 300 gold.
So right here, it's a, a little bit of a mechanical misplay. I missed a few of the last hits on these little uh, Krugs and stuff, and she doesn't have lethal on me. So instead of going for the four stack W waiting for the stun and stuff, I really should have just four stack Q, laid into her and gotten as much damage off as possible because she's only level three. I have, I have full one shot. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I was just... Right here on this dive, you want a QWE to make sure you get your stacks, and then you have your four stack W to walk out of his CC chain, and uh, Rumble cleans up. Our job here is pull the cooldowns and tank the turret so that the Rumble can clean it up. Right here I got lucky, the Elise is tilted and greedy. Like, she didn't need to fall back down, she could have just waited and then the Gnar would have had the kill. Because I wasted all my stacks under the turret harassing him. For Nars sanity's sake, I really hope this at least wasn't in the brush just yet because he was he was trying to sell it and she had the stun there. He would have died anyway, but he would have gotten a little damage off before he died.
Right here on the one shot, we use our four stack Q as we're getting closer so that we have the lowest amount of time with the Rengar passive above Nar's head. And then, of course, we four stack Q before the jump, W midair, auto Q, ignite, blah, blah, blah. Just one shot him. So this fight right here was really nice because we had a lot of vision and all the different brush and they were kind of desynced and stuff. They were tilted, so Lulu flashes the wall. I already healed a bit from Triumph and stuff. Like, you're dumb as hell. Die, noobs.
Nerf Lulu.